But yeah, no, they, they want... Uh, 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 I wanted to get upstairs. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I fall over a lot, and I'm a human. I could do with, andro with an android brain. It's just figuring out all that mathematical walking shit for me, you know? What if you like? What if your like brain got transported into an android body, but like it isn't a human body, so you have to think about everything you do, Ooh. and if you forget to breathe, you die. <laughs> yeah, okay, I wouldn't want that. I'd say no. I'd be like, um, not about this. Like your human brain does not match up with the android's like biology, and like you you now have like control over like every aspect. Of your being, the beating of your heart, you get to fucking like control that. You hey, he's got a gun. Like, clock, you, you know you can clock, like what is that? You can like change stuff in your computer. What was it? clocking? What is overclocking? that? Overclocking. Overclock your computer, and you can overclock your fucking body. I mean, you could already overclock your body. It's called blood doping. <laughs> what is that, Snake? It's when you like you exercise with less blood in you, and then before a sports event, you get blood in you, and then there's more blood carrying stuff about man more sports that, and android that sounds quarterback. super gross is that a real thing yeah, what the blood, fuck? blood doping have you never heard of blood doping before it's most no, i've heard of regular it. doping i've heard of regular doping but blood doping that's a thing they do yeah that's gross you could, what i'm surprised you haven't heard of blood doping before i find it interesting it's definitely interesting it, like, opens up my mind to many, many, many things. How driverless also, vehicles make fuck? life or death life and death decisions. Space tourism is Mars your next holiday destination. You having a fucking giggle, my friend? Hang on, I gotta see about this fucking Mars shit. No, ugh, it doesn't go into the Mars shit. <laughs> I don't care. Honestly, I'm actually, sorry. no, I'm realizing now. These, I'd be okay with these if it's, like, if it's a subscription service. You just have... You just have your magazine subscription that gets beamed to those. I'm gonna watch sports dude. upstairs. Dude, Todd was like a cool rocker dude, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom, Steve. Go ahead. I'm, I'm just gonna watch this news report without... Yeah. My Dope. fucking giant bottle of sake hasn't arrived yet. Heck yeah! Todd can't stop me now! Sports, baby. Android quarterbacks were doing it. They're fighting for us. I heard that an android won gold and he got a gold medal. But then when he came back to America, he had to enter a building from the back and ride a cargo lift. And the president wouldn't meet him. And then the president's name is Warren. It's a very working class name, Warren. Like, I wouldn't have a president, Warren. That's like, I don't know, Billy. No, it's not Billy, it's like a Jim. It's like Jim who just fixes your vents. That's what the president is. I didn't do that! Oh, Curry, you're getting bored without me then. Fine, I'll fix his fucking bed. He's having a beer, he's gonna come over here and take those antidepressants and act weird. So that's what they do in the David Cage verse. Clean mess. How about I just pull out that gun and shoot myself in the head? And I'll clean so many messes. Alright, what's the one to clean? Is it this crap? Do I just tear this shit off the wall? Ooh. Ooh. Is this saucy deets? Credit card. Is this just shit I saw downstairs, but now it's a swerve? All right, well, I cleaned that. You know, if uh, this fucker didn't want people snooping around in his stuff, probably shouldn't have got me. He's put the cart before the horse here. Well, that's what that means. Tidy up this crap, throw it out the window. All right, any more crap? Confused, but okay. This guy's a slob. He drinks, he rocks. Snake. Yeah? I have a question. You have a question? Do you know anything about Dragon Ball? No. Was Broly not canon? I think that's a question for another time. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about my brother. With my brother, not about You're my brother. You're talking about your brother who is Broly and not canon. 
No. Unlike you, I need to, to take me, a shit. He announced to me that Broly is now canon. And I'm super confused because in my, uh, under my understanding, the Broly was always canon. But now he's not canon. But he's becoming canon again. Finally. <laughs> so he just... I don't know. I like the idea it stopped being canon and then, hey, you're canon again now. <laughs> Snake, I have a personal question. Yeah. When you drink, does your bladder also get fucked up? Um, It just gets shorter and like you need to... Oh, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, the body not, doesn't process alcohol all that well. But also I've got... Also, oh, I so that's the... why. Can you explain? Can you elaborate? No, that's all I Cause... know. But that's why you got a fucking... That's why when you drink, sometimes you just need to take a monster piss. I'm fucking pressing I, the thing. I don't think the piss, the length of the piss is longer. It just happens more often. Oh, right. Oh, I mean, also the fact that I, you know, I've got a fucking tiny bladder anyway, apparently. Oh, wow. That's got to suck. Oh, huh? yeah. Tiny bladder snake, huh? Tiny bladder snake. That was my nickname in school. <laughs> Pee pee patty. <laughs> I pref that's why I preferred <laughs> tiny bladder snake. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened since I was gone? I cleaned a room and I made very crude jokes. And I watched hockey. I got a lot done. Ooh. Of course. Yeah, of course you like me, Alice. Does, does your shirt really need to have her name on it that's fucking blinking? Uh, I guess. Wait, that's not her name. Where did her name go? That's her model number. Oh, it changes between no, oh, the two. Oh. Oh, it flicks between them. I guess that's so... It's like, in case you know your dog gets out the house. If you want to be... Or if you, like, want to be, like, a super asshole and, like, call her that instead. I'm going to name... Well, I mean, now that I know that, I would name my robot, like, Where You Looking, Cunt. There's a podcast I listen to called, uh, Fuck Wolf 359. Fuck Wolf 359. No, I was the fuck was me trying to remember the name of the podcast. <laughs> Wolf Free Wolf Five Three Nine. <laughs> it's full Wolf Three Five Nine, and there's an AI character, uh, in that. But there's a villain in this show who calls the AI by its serial number, even though the AI has a name. I believe the name was Lyra. Anyway, the podcast is about. A fucking space shuttle that's uh, traversing around a red star, a red dwarf, by the name of Wolf359, which I think is an actual, like, red dwarf that exists. There's optional dialogue, often beneficial. Hey, did you hear about that android that got that girl killed? That's fucked up. Wait, is that was that a news article? No. Is that a, like current news art? Oh, that would be that would be dope if like, uh, like I just dropped my phone. Oh no! You, you basically okay, abused a robot. That'd be cool if like like the a news article about the android that fucked up. <laughs> Meaning you, Snake. <laughs> that would be a good the android a good headline. The android that <laughs> fucked up. Just the one. I'm not gonna ask about the mother. That seems dangerous. Seems quiet also could go wrong. Do it, do it. I wanna fucking know. Sorry, but I've already Come figured on. that out. She's gonna like me less. Look, see? You, Lunum, fucking, you judge me for killing that child, but you're the real monster here. Well, okay, I have, like, a bad. Okay, I have bad, like, human relationships to begin with, so I don't know how to say it to people. If, like, someone's mom is dead, I'd be like, where the fuck is your mom, you dumb asshole? Right. <laughs> and, they'd be like, and they'd be like, they're dead! And I'd be like, oh, shit! Your mother's in hell? Your mother's in hell? That's fucked up. AW Treasures. Man, I didn't like Apocalypse Weekend very much. I just don't understand why you'd be angry at an android. Well... I mean, I guess I kind of understand it. If you were With an my angry computer person, computer jams, I get angry at it. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> Can you imagine an android jamming? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> but I just can't like imagine myself getting angry at like just like calling. Hmm. Would I be th that much of an asshole? 
Would you be that much of an asshole, Snake? I mean, I don't say that to most people, so I don't know. Well, me neither. Uh, I don't know. But, like, I honest, am, I don't, but I, I am. Mean, here's the thing. It's not about niceness. I just wouldn't see much point, you know? Oh, well, there's the, there's that storytelling for you. That's what happened to the last I, just, robot. I, I, I'm just thinking about if I had an android, what, like, doing something, what would make me mad? Like, if it, like, was, like, antagonistic, I'd probably be mad at them. But, like, I'm thinking about if it, like, was glitching up and, like... Well, I mean, here's the thing. You fix stuff by... <laughs> hit, most commonly, how do you fix things? You hit it. No. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, fuck, Gary the Android's jammed up. Let me get my hammer. You know? Are you with me on this? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. I think I've done everything. Ask Todd for new instructions. Is there a charging station in the house? Sorry, a parking station. What is a parking station? It was a charging space. It's a shit game. You're playing badly. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a loser? This ain't heavy rain. I can't see what characters are thinking. Fucking loser. You are a loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Buy a big android puss in debt. You think I tried to make things work? Dude, oh, by the way, Todd's just... on antidepressants that make him act weird. I found him upstairs. So, yeah. That's what it's going for. Dude, that's just your fucking daughter. She's like 12. Dude, you need some serious help. Yeah, you, sh you should have got therapy instead of the android. You made a bad call. I'm just like thinking about like the con can can like an android stop a human from hurting another human? Because um, like that goes against like the laws that a robot should have. Well, right? if, it, if, like, we're, if he's if David Cage is just lousy enough to just do Asimov, then uh, mm -hmm. which he totally is, then yeah. But I don't know. Because there are police robots in this setting, and they clearly have to have some authority to at least manhandle people, you know? I guess. I just, I, I, I'm gonna stop talking about the logistics of no, the game. No, but that's all Even... there is beyond, like, the emotional capacity <laughs> of this game isn't... It's better than beyond. There is some... Like, here's the thing. I like this guy. Uh, the one we're playing as now. I can't remember his name, but I like him. But Marcus? Marcus, thank you. You remember? Hey, I remembered Connor. You remembered Marcus. I mean, I could be completely wrong. I don't know. It sounds right. This guy looks like a Marcus. Maybe I can like press a button and find things out. But on that note, let me look at the flowchart. The painter doesn't. Public opinion indifferent. That kind of spoils that this guy becomes the revolution leader, doesn't it? If public mm -hmm. opinion is just here already. Public opinion- I don't think the public opinion is indifferent, to be honest. I think it's negative. Actually, no, we've only seen people who care, so it could be indifferent. How, but, but, like, how fucking lazy do you have to be that you can't remove it until, like, that plot thread actually starts? Can you change the difficulty mid-game? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm looking- I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. I'm just kind of investigating. Ah, oh, fuck Revert x-axis. No, god no. Hey, is this bird dead? Wait, 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 wait. His name is Carl. Carl? Yeah, that's what it said. Where did... Or is the, that the bird name? Oh, it, uh, oh, it's a robot bird. I'm kind of disappointed. It's a just, robot. I'm just kind of disappointed he didn't just pick up and manhandle a weird... Just a, a normal bird. It's an android bird. It's a, they're fucking android birds. I didn't notice this the first time I played. What the fuck, android birds? Snake, uh, Snake, imagine as the owner of a really obnoxious fucking loud bird that chirps like an asshole. Oh boy, I want to get a version of this that never dies. <laughs> oh great, they already live forever. What if I get something that actually can't fucking die? This is a massive improvement. My god, I... <sighs> Fuck it. Fuck. Oh, I'm also just thinking about, like, uh, now I'm thinking about the processing power of an android bird. Like, can, 
can a bird reach the same level of sentience than a human? Can a yeah? Android? Can a bird have an emotional shock and become more bird? <laughs> oh shit! I'm a I'm a fucking bird, dude. <laughs> Detroit become <laughs> avian. <laughs> I know where I'm meant to go. I'm just not going there. Oh, I am going there. Shit. <laughs> I accidentally went where I didn't want to go. But thought I knew what I was doing. Wake up, you old fuck. Wake up, you dying asshole. Good morning. Oh, Carl's our master. Carl, It's Carl is our master. But he treats robots nice. Sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Dude, same. <laughs> I did that made no sense. I just want to know his name. Fucking, this guy has like a... Marcus, like you own... were right. It's Marcus. Oh, it is Marcus. I can't believe I was right. Nice. I'm so proud. That is like... <laughs> that's a dopamine <laughs> injection right in my fucking brain right there. <laughs> Affirmation. Yeah, we just had to make everything futuristic, even when we had perfectly sensible solutions to stuff. What if, like, everything else was, like, futuristic? Like, the bed was, like, weird. <laughs> the bed's on wheels. They break down so like, you just... Well, like, anything can be your bed. Like, you just say, bed on, and then you flop <laughs> over, and then, <laughs> and then you're just <laughs> levitating in air. Oh, that's good. That's the future I want. Fuck androids. I want an anywhere bed. What if you like, you live in a, what if like, I don't know, I'm just thinking about, wait a minute, that's a dude, that's an actual fucking dude! Yeah, no. What's his name? What's his name? Who's this fucker? I know his name. What the fuck there is his name? There was a bit of a controversy when it turned out he was going to be in this game. It's like, you're bringing him into your shitty robo narrative? God, who is this asshole? I don't watch enough films. I feel like I should know this. Can I just drop Fuck. him? No, he yes. just stops. Oh, I thought you were asking permission. <laughs> no, I, was, I, was, I wasn't asking permission. I was asking logistics. It's a guy. It's, a, it's absolutely a guy, and I don't fucking remember his name. David Cage is a coward because there's a shower scene going on, and it's an old dude, so of course it's, there's the shot as discretion, and it's his room. Oh my Instead God. of his old man body. I think it would be great if Marcus and Carl both were naked and they were just watching each other. And there was no restraint. No, David Cage would win some respect in my book then if he just decided, you keep complaining I put female characters in shower scenes while well, here's an old man. I'd be like, yeah, Cage, you're doing it. Anything special on the Is there a shower scene in this yes, game, though? Uh, probably. Right. There's got to be, right? <laughs> And it's going to be Kara, the robot girl. Nah, I feel like, I feel like there isn't a shower scene. Because, like, the first shower scene was already ignored like this. But that's because it's an old dude. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Oh, that sucks. We'll I see. Just, I just wanted to see this old wow, fucking... Alright, let's talk about futuristic crap. The no. chairlift just picks up his wheelchair and pulls it downstairs. No. Does it work by magnets? I guess. Why doesn't the chair just levitate? <laughs> Why doesn't he just have a walk? Why doesn't the chair just have legs? Why can't he just fucking walk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why doesn't he just have a fucking exoskeleton at this point? Yeah! You can make fucking human robots walk around somehow, and you can't give, like, an exoskeleton, exoskeleton for this fucking rich dude? Come on, I don't give a- Dave Cage, you're a hack. You're a fucking hack. You're an inconsistent bullshit of a hack. He doesn't even have the excuse that this guy's old-fashioned because he has a fucking robot butler. And a goddamn fucking magnet thing that brings his goddamn wheelchair down. Oh, I hate this. This guy should have fought it through. Should have been like, yeah, I have robot legs. You just have to carry me and deposit me in my robot legs. Because you wouldn't wear robot legs to bed. You would still need Marcus to put you in the robot legs. I hope you're hungry. Why doesn't this guy have, like, an actual, like... 
butler though. I hope you're hungry. If he's a good guy, why would he like do this to his android? Well, but he treats Marcus with respect is the idea. He's like, he try. we're going to see it more in this scene later on, but he tries to encourage Marcus to be more human. I feel like, I feel like, it's, uh, I feel like this kind of a guy who he's like, he seems super rich and he seems like he'd already have, you know, personal working for him. Why wouldn't he hire a human? Yeah, that's the thing. Do he doesn't his... seem, especially because he's treating it with this level of respect. Maybe he just has an android to make a point about having an android. So he's just another sick asshole who owns an android to make a point about how androids are human. Is 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 in it for his own sick hubris and like satisfaction? He's like, look, this android that I own and manipulate into being a human in my image. Oh, by the way, I hasn't come confer confirmed this yet, but there's evidence for alien life on Titan. I hope there's I hope there's aliens at the end of this game. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know, well, I've, I've just come to another idea. Maybe he's just embarrassed and he doesn't want a human butler to see his dick. Mankind has showed it for us soon. Oh no, my tiny dick! So he just has an android do it instead so, you know, he can just be carried to the shower. You know what, never mind. He just, his dick is just too big and he's embarrassed by it. It's like the size of it is just way too big. Like, no one wants to see it. He doesn't need a wheelchair because of his legs, he's just way down. It's like 20 inches and like it's like way, way too fucking. <laughs> Why am I going about this? Let's fucking Why play some chess. Why can I taste blood? By yourself. God, I hate obnoxious chess pieces. <laughs> I don't even know what any of these are. They're like, it's clearly chess, but it's just like fucking dumb pieces. It's a Look game of chess where if you fell over near the table, you might kill yourself on the pieces. 4D chess it is. I'm gonna win. Can't even control it. No, just win. Just press the win button. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Damn straight. Why is my one of my one of my options just stand up and cheer? Well, I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I felt I didn't have many choices. True, we humans are complicated. Unlike you, you binary fuckers, it's all ones and zeros with you robots, isn't it? You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. What? Decide who you are. What? 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 Oh, it is. Human? <laughs> God damn it, you fuck. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. But you named me Marcus! <laughs> He's not like the, the, the fucking like, What the hell was that? That stop equating this weird fucking robot fantasy you come up with with real human stuff. No, but the, like, the thing that got me there was that sounded like a speech to a dad about his son who's just moving out, not a robot. Yeah, that was like all. all, all like, does Marcus know that this dude, had, like that Carl, has plans for him to be like a free human? And like, is that even legal? Can you decide that your robot is now a human? Can you? Can you? Can you do that? Can you emancipate your robot and say, okay, they're gonna go and live on their own now and work a job and support them? Wouldn't the government just go, why? Why would we waste the living space? When, 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 like, human slaves, you know, mm. in, America, in America, you could, the owner of a slave could theoretically, like, free the slave. I get, I think, even though, like, then the, 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 that person w w will, would probably then get kidnapped and be auctioned off as another slave, because uh, fucking awful, awful history. Uh, but, like, I'm thinking about it. Like, what would happen if, like, Marcus became, would, like, the company, like, steal him back, wipe his brain? Because he owns him. He's a piece of property. He would go out in his estate, surely. Yeah, like, like, does he, is, he is it written in his will that he will remain free forever? And, like, can, like, and since, like, it's, this world is so connected, they'd probably be aware of this. I'm just, 
I'm just like, I don't fucking understand this world because it's not explained enough. <sighs> and then we got those newspapers, but they're talking about, hey, life on Titan instead of things that we kind of really might need to know. What rights does an android have? Can it even have rights? Like, it's just like, like, it, but I don't think it can because we haven't, there should be somewhere in this game an android that is emancipated and free and lives on its own. Is it like, is it kind of like handbreaking a phone? Which, is handbreaking a phone legal even? <laughs> is it illegal? Because I don't think it is. I don't think it is like necessarily illegal. Hey bro, I jailbreaked my android. Oh. I'm just like, I'm fucking losing my mind at this point. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. I think he just got. I think he just got Marcus to fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's just make an art bot. Let's just see if I can do it. Then it will. Then I will sell its paintings. What if I, like, give this android, like, existential dread about its own existence and see what happens? That's the ultimate oh, art project, isn't it? Let's just teach a robot fear. Teach the robot fear and, like, go on a war rampage and I'll be dead? And, like, my impact on the world will go on forever as Marcus, my revolution, revolutionary art piece that is literally going around, you know, fucking killing humans. I just... There's so much shit happening. Is it Christopher Plummer? I don't think it's Christopher Plummer. <laughs> is it Christopher Plummer? I don't know. Fuck! Who is... I don't think it is Christopher Plummer. Motherfucker. It's not Christopher Plummer, definitely. But who is this guy? I'm Googling. Go ahead and Google. I'm just gonna try and figure out what painting I want to make. Look, he's telling us, imagine something, make some shit up. Have you seen the movie I, Robot? It's a good Dude. movie with Will Smith. I love Will Smith. <laughs> when he got, when at the beginning he had those pair of converses on, I was like, this is the movie for me. Okay, 